bad good Big shout out to Guna Nation, Kieran Turney, Wagwan. Listen guys, no need to sweat it. This deal is gonna get done. The players already made personal terms weeks ago. Celtic have already brought in a replacement for him, which was about probably two weeks ago as well. It's gonna get done. Amount that Celtic want for the player has been met. As we know, it's just the installments they, yeah, they Celtic want all the money now and, and rightly so and, and as I said guys look Biscan went to Man United for 50 million this guy is just as good if not more productive than he is at Crystal Palace and we're getting him for half the price look let's not make no beans about this the deal's gonna get done so all this social media YouTube and and and, and media write-ups that are saying oh Arsenal are struggling and they can't get it just, He's, he's, he's on his way, he's coming, it's gonna get done. So he's got 21 assists. This guy is a defender and he scored five goals and 21 assists. We've never really had that kind of production from that position. Monreal has been a statesman at that position. He's been quite productive, but he hasn't got 21 assists in regards to what he's been bringing to the team. This is a good deal for Arsenal in the simple terms of he fits both free at the back as a wing back and he, he fits a flat back four as well as a left back. It's, it's a deal Arsenal has got to get done. We're talking about Aubameyang and Lacazette not getting the service that they are, are begging for really over the last year. And this is a guy that will come in and do everything that he needs to do in order for us to be more productive defensively and offensively. So the deal's going to get done regardless. I just think that when you have somebody that's this young and this productive, you can't beat around the bush. Like I said, his contract is up in 2023. So what pressure are Celtic under to sell? You know... I know there's been rumours about Napoli, which isn't true, but it does state the fact that that somebody can just come in in the last minute and bring and buy him. You just swoop him up, and that team could be someone like Liverpool or Man City or Spurs who are offering Champions League football. I, I really don't know why we're in this position to play these kind of games. I believe it's because we know that his personal terms are done. We know that he's committed to wanting to come to Arsenal. So I think Arsenal in that way of being very bullish just wouldn't be a stance that I would take in that same situation, if I'm honest. But we have really got to step on. I mean, the transfer market is gonna be over in four weeks. And here we are sitting with a, an 18-year-old 18, an 18 Brazilian who is very inexperienced and a defense that still needs to be improved. Now, just want to cover off that. The defense, I believe, yes, we do need to bring in a couple of players, but I would definitely go for Chambers and Holden as the two starting center backs this season, and I'll tell you why. In Wenger's last season, Chambers and Mavpranos were the two start. People forget about that. We were horrible with Mustafi and Koscielny at centre-back. And Wenger had had enough and he just swapped them out. He benched them because we just weren't getting anywhere. And when Chambers and Mavpranos was playing, we were rock solid. We had our best performances defensively in the latter stages of the season. And this is why it mystified me when Emery came into the team, why we would send Chambers out on loan. It, it just doesn't make any sense. So the positives for us guys is, is this. Holden had 16 games last season and we didn't lose in any of them. He, big part of the 22 game unbeaten streak, which actually I'm gonna drop another video for that later on in terms of how was that achieved. And the other thing was Chambers. Chambers was voted his team's best player last year. He was also the number one rated defensive midfielder in terms of passes intercepted and tackles made. So when you look at that, I think that's a really good build up for what Arsenal want to do next year. Put the young guys in because let me tell you something. First of all, there's no money commitment because they're already Arsenal players. And I think that goes the same for Reese Nelson goes the same for Sacco, goes the same for Smith Rowe, Wilcox. You've got to play these players because 
if you're playing and your level is fifth and sixth place, what have you got to lose? They can't be any worse than the players that are already in there that are failing you in your system. And Emery knows this. It's the reason why he's told various players that go and find another team because, you know, we've got no plans for you. And we're hearing all this stuff that's going on about Zaka, Mustafi, and obviously Koscielny, he knows he wants to go. He knows he wants to move on. So it's possible the same thing was said to Koscielny as well. And, you know, it's hand over foot that we've been put in this position where we have been held to ransom. None of these players have left the team yet, which means the wages are still there, which means we've got no funds in, and funds in is a big problem for Arsenal in terms of financial fair play. It just hurts you so many different ways when you can't balance the books on players being sold. I really feel for this team, yes, the people who are to blame have gone, but these this new front office, people are giving them a lot of stick, and, and I don't agree with that. They never were the reasons for us to get into this trouble and for them to be suffering this kind of state uh, of not being able to get any players out to bring the players they want in it's really not fair and time is running out and I really feel for these guys I would not like to be a front office uh, <laughs> assistant for Arsenal Football Club right now e you know even when you're talking about the likes of Edu um, not so much Freddie Lumber because Freddie's job is on the on, on the training ground, but the likes of Edu as well, uh, Vinay, Raul Sully, these guys have got to really be struggling right now. It's hard where they are at the moment, and they're getting fans screaming down at them and making all these video posts with our front office and we need more money and how useless they are. That is so unfair, guys. And, and I love my team. You guys know me. I, I look at the, the, the team in a business standpoint as well as what they do on the field. And I just think that it's unfair and it's harsh. And you'll never get that, that kind of narrative from me. It just ain't going to happen. Right now, I just want us to start closing off some of these deals and start pushing on. And it's so negative right now in the fan base. I just want the football to start. I want us to start getting on the pitch, playing football, seeing the positives in terms of these young players grow with us and just bench all the useless players who aren't getting the job done. Fling them on the bench, forget about them. Let them know that they're gonna rot, yeah? And these young players are gonna come in and they're gonna show and prove to Arsenal. That's the, just the way it's gotta be, guys. Just hold it down, guys, hold it tight. Try and stay away from all the media negativity because that's just there to rile you up. Try and be positive try and just look at the the good things about your team if you love your team like I do you know just bless them and help them be the 12th man so don't be that voice that starts to bring the club down and make these players heads drop and make everybody around you feel as bad as you do don't don't be that be be the be the person that loves your club that is hopeful and that that will back your team through thick thin win lose or draw because you know that's what it's like being a fan a fan and supporting your club, the, the word support means getting behind them regardless of what happens. And I think somewhere along the line, our fan base has just completely forgotten that. We've got sucked into this media hype, the Adrian Durhams of this world have just coaxed everybody into being so negative, making the atmosphere so toxic. I, I just don't want to be a part of that. And that's the reason why I don't feature on some other uh, YouTube channels because I just want to do my own thing because I, and I love my club and that, that's where I'm going to leave it guys look, support your team, like and subscribe and bless you Gunas